Nagushka. Yeah, referencing the three-year limited law, although I'm sure the wrecking is still to come. Yeah, and here's the thing what Nagushka is referencing. In British Columbia, Canada, they just decriminalized the possession of many drugs, right? But here's the here's the kicker. And Nagushka pointed this out to us on our gilded server. So thanks for that, Nagushka. Okay, on our gilded server. Okay. Nagushka pointed out, I thought it was they were decriminalizing the possession of a small amount of possession of almost all the illegal drugs, but they're not. They're doing it to uh, drugs, which means pharmaceuticals, right? So it was opiates, uh, MDMA, cocaine, and there was something else, right? And their derivatives, right? But Nagushka can correct me if I'm wrong. They're not decriminalizing the possession of magic mushrooms, peyote, uh, uh, ayo. Well, ayahuasca you can use in ceremonies as long as it's attached to a religious aspect of it, which is like, it's crazy. Like the whole centralized power prohibition crap, the, this genocide being committed on a way of being and a way of thought is unbelievable. Like generations from now going to look at look back at this period and say we were some of the most lowest iq people in human history to allow centralized power to do this to us to a society right so we'll see what that comes we'll see what the agenda is but basically they've legalized certain pharmaceuticals that were illegal right they haven't they haven't legalized plants right they're still waging war on plants on entheogens but they legalized the possession of certain pharmaceuticals that were illegal in the past. The fuck. Not that I disagree with that. I agree with that. We should end prohibition, but on fucking everything. All right? Not just on pharmaceuticals. What is this crazy crap? 